Altus Group, um, we're a distributor of electronics. Um, so predominantly Altus Group UK um, and Ireland is where I'm focusing. Um, and we effectively distribute a range of suppliers into the UK market. And then really our value is service and support. Um, so as a USP for Altus and further to that Danutech, uh, we've really doubled down on engineering um, because of our focus in automotive and high throughput lines. Uh, we typically have to get there when our machines are struggling, uh, but really the customers value our support. Okay, can you just talk us through Denatech? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's interesting that people know about the UK market and what happened to us uh, maybe around the 2000s or slightly later. Uh, well, a lot of the market and a lot of our customers ended up moving across to Eastern Europe. So we had a really strong base in the UK and Ireland, um, but over time, um, lots of companies popped up in Hungary and then further to that, Romania. Um, and really, we followed where the, the customers went. Uh, we had a, quite a strong portfolio, including some of the names we mentioned, Ko Young and YJ Link. Um, and as automotive and large-scale manufacturing went from Hungary, Romania, further to that, Serbia, now we've opened an office in Bulgaria and Slovenia. So it's really, I don't know, it's really gone and gone. Okay, and, and, and that's obviously been successful given, as you say, the, the drift for manufacturing to go into Eastern Europe. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I mean, yeah, you can imagine these uh, large-scale manufacturers, if they can save a few pennies or a few pounds, yeah. they, they sure as hell do. <laughs> so we've, re we've really found that. I mean, the company um, founded with four people back in 2001 and now we're up to the 40s approximately um, and hiring and growing year on year um, even even with our market and, and how we've set up in the group because we focused on this element of really a lot of engineers um, it, it, it's just meant that we've been able to bring on a lot more customers okay. and as an example of that I mean the last two years in the UK we've added around 15 to 20 new customers from our competitors okay. uh, just from that basis. Okay. And if I'm a customer and come to you and say Joe you know I'm looking at uh, laser cutting or any aspect really of manufacturing process how, how does it proceed from there? You, you look at our requirement and bring an engineering team in and support it? Or? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So part of having this large engineering team um, is that we really focus on the upfront qualification. No one wants to buy a machine only to learn when it's installed on site that it's a car crash. Yeah, sure. um, okay. so, so really what we do, we double down on technical expertise, we call them overlays. Yep. And so when you're dealing with a salesperson driving the project, you'll also have an application specialist in that area. Uh, we normally take samples, we've got an application facility in both, well, all three of um, Redditch, Timisoara, and Budapest, okay. and the guys have a, a plethora of machines that they can trial, get a customer in, have a feel. I mean, you can have a look at a data sheet, but there's not really much, like yeah. when you get your head into a machine and have a look at it, it's, okay. you yeah, get sure. used to it. Excellent, okay. And just finally, can you pick a couple of uh, topics or pieces of equipment that are a bit of interest uh, you've bought to Productronica? Yeah, yeah, so uh, there are predominantly, we're predominantly focused in inspection, I'd say. Um, and our, our flagship name would be Ko Young. Uh, Ko Young have got a whopping big stand um, in A2. Right. Uh, really, really a lot of machines as well. Uh, but they're focused in AOI and SPI, uh, truly the market leader really in both of these areas. Uh, they've launched some new products this year which we're really excited about. We've just gotten to the AVL of some of the big automotive with pin insertion. Uh, so pin insertion inspection, sorry. Where you're looking at compliant pin which is a new trend. Um, and then also so the latest inspection from them would be conformal coating inspection, okay. uh, where you can accurately measure the height of um, a, a material onto material. a board. Okay. So, so and, and we think that that's going to be a big driver in automotive, well both of them are automotive yeah. focuses you could imagine. And then for the UK, I mean we've got this big problem whether we're separated from the continent or not. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've heard about yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <yes. laughs> and so one of the areas that I'm really seeing a lot of, because I do quite a lot of the new business in our, our region, is back-end automation. Everyone's been focusing on SMT for years, uh, but you, the lines are getting pretty much as quick as they could get, <laughs> plus right. minus. Uh, but we're seeing a lot of saving potential in replacing manual areas. So whether you, every, every site's pretty much got a manual soldering desk. Uh, they've likely doing hand placement um, and, and maybe 
they could do with some robotic soldering, or, or even in fact we do a we do a real good range from Sencorp for odd form placement, okay. where you're placing all of these very awkward parts um, onto a board that typically needed the dexterity of a human. Uh, well, now we can quite reliably place them with odd form, and then of course you've got your selective soldering thereafter sure. and final assembly and box build. So, uh, really, I, I guess they're they're some of the latest stuff that we've seen. You, if you go into the Sencorp pool, you'll see the new T Rex, they're calling it, okay. the component eater. Okay, right. okay. <laughs> and that's their new flagship of form cell. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah. Joe Booth from Autos Group, thank you very much. Yeah, no, thank you.